I had some leftover drumsticks and didn't know what to do with them. Then a light bulb moment hit me. I'm gonna show you guys how to make Italian garlic drumsticks in the slow cooker. You ready? Let's go. Let's go ahead and do a quick rundown. We have our chicken legs here. We got a whole lot of garlic here. Guys, the garlic is what's gonna bring that flavor out. You're gonna really, really enjoy the taste of this particular chicken. Right here we have some olive oil, some chicken broth, some red chili flakes, some Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. That's all we're gonna use to season. You, you guys know, or you'll be amazed at what salt and pepper just by itself can do to a dish. So these are the ingredients, let's get started. Okay, to get started, we're gonna start seasoning our chicken legs. Now, if you have a Ziploc bag, that'll work too. I don't have any Ziploc bags, but you can still easily do this in a uh, nice size bowl like I got right here. So we're gonna add our olive oil, our Italian seasoning, red chili flakes, our pepper, and our salt. And guys, we're just gonna get this a good mix, just like that. All right, so it's just that easy, guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and move over to our crock pot and we're gonna get those babies in the crock pot, all right? Okay, now we're at our crock pot. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chicken, just gonna dump them in here like that. And we're gonna arrange them where they're all one layer. Now, guys, if you have a lining, a crock pot liner, you can put that in here. I don't have one, so it doesn't matter. You don't actually need it, but it, it does help. Now we're gonna take our garlic just our whole garlic cloves, and we're just gonna place them, you know, randomly around the chicken. Just like that. Now we're gonna take our chicken broth, and we're just gonna pour that in here like that. Just that simple, that easy. And last thing, we just take our top, cover it up, cook it on low for six to eight hours till that chicken is tender, all right? So we're gonna come back and check it like Every, maybe every two hours to kind of give it a look and see what it looks like, all right? All right, guys, we are six hours in. Take a look at what we have right here, man. Look at the color that's on these babies, man. It looked like they was in the, the oven. Man, throw some of that juice over the top of it like that. Oh, man, look at that, guys. So now I'm going to take it out of our crock pot. We're going to put it on our cutting board, get into the final presentation, and then get into quality control, guys. All right, guys, we're back in here for quality control. You already know. I got to go ahead and do my presentation, let you guys see again what we're working with. Man, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Man, these babies smell good. Look like they've been baked in the oven. So we're going to go ahead and bite into it and tell you what. What, man? Hey, guys. Got somebody over here looking at me. They want to get into quality control, man. So I'm going to go ahead and let them come on over here and get into quality control. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting for these things to get done. And look who we have, man. We have Leah with us, and she wants to participate in quality control. Hi. All right. So, we'll give you this one right here. So, she going to tell us exactly how she feel about them, and I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. So, let's go ahead and let's get into it. Oh, man, look at that guy. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Good seasoning. Say it again. Good seasoning. I'm telling you, that first thing I was gonna say. The seasoning mm. is on point. Oh man. Falling right off the bone. Mm. Guys, just dip the recipe you wanna try. Leah can't even stop eating. She ain't even looked at the camera. So you know she like it. So tell me real quick before we get out of here what you think about it. 
I will give it a thousand plus. A thousand plus. Y'all know what that is, a thousand plus, man. So, guys, this is an easy recipe. All you got to do, again, dump and go. Stick it in your crock pot six to eight hours. We only had six pieces, so six hours is enough. We got going to throw, a, you know, 12 pieces in there. You may want to keep them in there eight hours. But very, very easy, very delicious. So I do recommend this. So until then, you already know who I am. I'm Spinelli and... Chef Leia. My little Chef Leia. And this is All Wings Everything. And remember, we ain't no chefs, really. We just cook a lot. And I'm out. And we are out. We are uh -huh. out. Peace. Peace.